I'm excited. We've had a lot of good matches this year on the stream today. I think, like, for me, the, the top of, the top commentary hype moment was um, Marvelous Marco overcoming Kiraflex. Just that if you have a chance to go back and watch one set, like, during the whole end of pools, okay. I would check that one out. Did he upset him? He did, in fact, upset him, but it was, like, really close. Uh, but for now, we are in the second half of top eight, and we have Eon versus AC. Yeah, I like the pick from Eon here, Joker. Uh, he also has a Fox. Uh, I, I do think Joker does better than Fox in this matchup. So I like the pick. But right, right now, AC is doing a really good job. Yeah, I know how that uh, Eon was saying that he usually has a lot of trouble against AC. I don't know, maybe AC is just his kryptonite or what it is about him. But typically, he has difficulty playing against uh, this Snake player. Okay, he avoids the back here there on the landing. Really good stuff. Pressure him, but look at all the grenades that AC has set up here. Yep. And that Dowsman did get nerfed too. So, I mean, we, yeah, we are playing on the new pad. So Joker is nerfed a little bit and tries to grab the up tilt there. You have to be really, really close to grab that up tilt. Space up tilt is really, really hard to shield grab. Unless you have a tether, then you can do it. See the range pretty much. Okay. He's getting a little bit more tacked on here. Leon kind of pressuring the grenades a little better. Oh, that C4 though, you gotta keep track of where it's at. I mean, yeah. that's just the mini game you play whenever you're playing against a snake. It's like, where am I hiding the C4? Yep. And I mean, that was so big too because Eon just had snake in that disadvantage state, which it's it's so bad for him. Okay, just pulling grenades here. Yep, safe reset here from AC. Just using that, that drop grenade that was already cooked on the platform as a wall because he'd be reversed behind it, making sure that, that uh, Eon actually couldn't approach. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Okay, he's up there. Can't really pressure him yet. Just gonna go right into the Cypher. So that's pretty much a free reset here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so oh unfortunate. He dropped, AC dropped the grenade right when he went for the grab, and Eon still hit it. Damn. Right now, AC just will not lose his stock. Finally, the back air, okay. He didn't be there, so he had the little boost to get to the ledge, and I mean, Eon gets himself on the board here, but th at this point, do you kind of just think about the next game? like? I mean, top eight, it's going to be a best of five. You can go into, you know, the mindset, like, maybe you start thinking about game two. But at the same time, why, why be at a deficit? Yeah, he's grabbing. He's not pummeling. Good stuff. That's clean coming out from the You never want to pummel against Snake when he has a grenade. After he pulled a grenade, just mm -hmm. grab and throw. Okay, dropping grenades at the ledge. Another back throw. Here we go. More grenade setups. And he, there goes Arsene. He's going to have, like, one more Arsene to take out both of these stocks. Okay, gets, gets, gets the double jump, gets the landing, yes. Oh. Okay, I like the up B too. That yeah, was nice. Very smart. Because yeah, you know that slow. you know he wanted to stay up there, like yeah, reset exactly. on the platform. And whether you pull the grenade or ooh, you have the up tilt, yeah, yeah. That is gonna do it there for AC. No more miraculous <laughs> comeback here for Eon and just really solid stuff coming out from AC. Didn't really give him too many openings and those those up tilts, man, it's just it's gonna be one of the toughest moves to deal with in the snake arsenal and yeah, you know, I mean he died to him twice, right? Right. So And that grenade up air was so clean coming out from AC. That was a very early stock. Yeah, I'm always a big fan of watching like snake players being able to convert off grenade into like aerials. Like whenever you see like a, a grenade into forward air or even air and just hear the base on every hit. Yeah. Uh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> So no more Joker pick. You know, Eon switching out Joker and bringing yeah. out the Spacey. I mean, he got two stock there I, I, at that point, right? Like, unless you kind of feel like you figured out something big that you weren't doing on the first, like, two stocks, you're going to switch to another character that you feel more comfortable on. That's true. Eon has uh, really good results with this character, this box. And he has experience, too, because he had to play this matchup at the beginning of the game before Joker came out with this matchup. <laughs> so, I mean, he, he definitely has the experience in this matchup. Okay, we're escaping the up air, getting a couple up airs of his own into a forward air. Eon taking the damage and just continues to apply pressure onto AC. Damn, Fox is just so sick. His character is hype. Yeah, no, this character sucks. So don't, don't, don't let him fool you. So fast, <laughs> so, so much combos. Oh, no. Oh, oh, gets hit. Oh, into the cypher. Yeah, this character is so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, it, 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 it's a struggle for both players because, oh, cross stage, wow. I mean, Eon was really good DI. Nice air dodge and the punish, wait. Okay, okay. Oh, I actually the thought that, I thought the, the <laughs> I thought the Nikita was going to blow up on Eon still. But getting caught with the C4, remember, yeah, I'm always playing that minigame. 
Yeah, it, sometimes it's hard to see when the camera's a bit lower as well to see where the they are on the platform. So losing track of the C4 is something that happens commonly, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. especially because now the, the animation is so subtle. If they're really high up and they drop the C4, you may not even notice it. Yep, Eon just yeah. keeping on to him. Oh, the trade, the reset. Okay, AC finally makes it back on stage here, but man, at like... Oh, 100 plus percent, Yon was just keep sticking on him, dude. Yeah, 101 percent, but guess what? That just means that Snake has a lot of rage. You can put all the damage you want on Snake, but how often have we seen Snake live like past 200 percent? This character lasts forever. Oh, wait, are you, are you gonna die here? Okay, he saves the jump. Ooh, Ooh. the up air almost Ooh. catches the anti air, the tech chase. Oh, he just gets the forward, he doesn't get the hard punish. The back air, though, he will be able to make it back. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, to hold your breath a little bit, you're like, Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, Eon, you know, even if, like, think about, like, all the stocks that he had to do outside of that run up F Smash. Uh, wow, Eon has died. Oh. Yeah, uh, primarily been going really deep off stage to secure these kills. Yeah, with punish, reset, it goes for the double jump, AC reset. Wait, oh, if he threw him a little earlier instead of humbling, he might have been able to, like, grenade up air. Mm -hmm. Very, very off that. Oh, wait. Okay. It's the double jump. This is big. Okay, there's the up tilt. There's another up tilt. Great trap. traps. Oh, that was cool coming out from Eon. Wow, he just, the way he positions everything and his up smash even hit the grenade. That was perfectly spaced coming out from Eon. Those are the, are the fireworks at the end of the match. So it gets an celebratory explosion for Eon wow. as he puts the, makes the score 1-1. One, one. That was so sick. Like that whole, that, that whole sequence. And the thing about Fox too is never, not everything is true. A lot of it is like soft mm -hmm. resets, kind of like sheep where you don't have like crazy huge combos and they don't do like super a lot of damage, but you get all these little resets after, right? So if you can chain these little resets, sometimes you can just snowball them to talk just like that. I mean, every time I, I, a part of me dies every time I see someone air dodge and up air only to get hit with an up tilt and then get put right back in that situation. It's like, oh, but you don't want to take the air up air either. So it's like, it's a lose-lose. I don't know what to do. You're getting hit, dude. It's not a good feeling. But, you know, it's all right. AC already sitting at 95% plus 100% only in a matter of seconds. This game just started. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing that Fox will do, you know, quite easily. Uh, Fox can rack up a ton of damage really, really quick. But the hardest part is securing the stock here. Eon gets the down smash, but hits him in the wrong direction. Oh, caught the directional air dodge with a down smash. Yeah, that is not easy to do. It's about a three frame window to catch directional air dodge to the ledge if spaced properly there. So really good stuff from Eon. I mean, he, he had to have known he was going for that. Mm -hmm. Just with the way the direction that AC was recovering to, it was very telegraphed. So it did allow Eon to charge up. And really, at that point, you just got to figure out when you want to release the button. But OK, Eon putting a little bit more damage out of AC, but AC able to escape. Juggle. Ooh, I like the downer, but the grenade sneaks out. OK, the forward tilt on both of them landing here. Reflex. Oh, send it back. Yeah, wow, really good stuff from uh, Eon. They're getting out of that edge guard situation and getting some damage but here he is again okay you see the c4 is at the ledge c4 is at the ledge you gotta remember where that where that little button is okay hey okay, catch the jump no hey okay, oh dash attack right to the center stage pretty decently safe and he anti-airs him with the up tilt he knows that fox wants to set up some kind of falling arrow on him. Yeah, it's very common for foxes just to use their full hop to see uh, what your opponent's going to do possibly land on them with a nair or even a even a back air okay ac just slowing it down a little bit and yeah, I mean, Eon has to respect it. Eon kind of knowing that he has to get some, I mean, he can he can go in, but he also can tack a lot of damage. Oh, oh that cooked grenade. Oh. The correct spacing and timing is going to put a little bit more damage on Eon, slowly bringing back that deficit. Parry into dash attack going to give, well, did give uh, AC some stage control. Oh, wait, grenade. Oh, that goes into his death. Eon calling him out, knowing he's going to press some kind of button, some kind of setup there, and the up air connects. See Eon sitting pretty with a stock lead, chilling at the ledge. He knows he's got five minutes on the clock. He is in no rush to approach. Okay, looking for his moment. He did get the trade on the explosion, but good dash dance from oh. AC. Okay, didn't something uh, didn't reflect or some sort of thing? Oh, the down smash! Wow, catching them. And so one thing about Fox's up now, it, it takes a little longer to snap the ledge mm -hmm. um, compared to Smash Four, so it's a lot easier to frame now. Okay, so I actually thought Eon was going to be a little bit of trouble right there. He was, in fact, putting a lot of pressure onto AC, but he picked up the grenade, which is not something you want to do as Fox. Yeah, 
I mean, look at this. Uh -oh. Are you dead? Uh -oh. Okay, we didn't run off here. Gets the shield. Yep. I mean, it's going to be really good tool against the illusion here. No double jump here on Eon. Nikita trying to find its mark. It connects another one. Okay, good. Going right under the Nikita. We're going to see a back throw. And now, what are the left traps going to be? Oh, dash attack in the wrong way. But like still able to pick him up. Okay. 90%. I mean, I don't think he might have taken a little bit more damage for us to have to kill here. Snake is pretty heavy, but he has a decent amount of rage. Mm -hmm. These grenades are adding a little more rage to him as well. Ooh, okay. Do a double jump. Wow, the backer's gonna. Ooh, oh, that oh. Move sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Are, who, who are you kidding, Korean? You know that move sucks. Don't even get yourself your hopes up. Okay, yeah, get away from that grab. No down throws. Dude, he can't get hit by anything, I feel like. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Down tilt? Yeah, your Fox 165. It's gonna be a wrap there. Really good stuff coming out from AC. Just perfect timing on the run call in. And the thing is, that was an impressive call because Eon wasn't really running in too often. You know what I mean? He didn't really give him, you know, just anything to signal that. So, right, right. Really good stuff from AC. Really from AC, like in that last interaction, I wasn't too sure because Eon, you're right, Eon hadn't been running in directly to him, but he's been jumping a lot. Right. So I was more expecting AC to throw an up tilt rather than a down tilt, and I think Eon was expecting the same. Yeah. Really good, man. I mean, not, just not not going for the standard stuff sometimes in those last stock, last hit situations mm -hmm. can really throw your point off and you just cash in with the game in there. Wild card. All right, back throw. Ooh, get the tech chase, but good spot dodge. Oh, he waited, too. He definitely waited. Just He probably reacted too fast, honestly. <laughs> probably saw the tech in, like, instant down smash, so he had to <laughs> wait a little bit. When your reactions are too good. Yep. I mean, a lot of these top players, you have to have those reactions to back it up, man. I mean, you can definitely still do good without broken reactions, but, man. It's okay, illusion into up air. That's the works. Double C4. Yeah, I like where he placed it, too. That was really good positioning coming out from AC. Great directional air dodge. Wait out the grenade, yep. Who's going to try and get this first stock? Oh, he, he tried to do the gimmer. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> tried. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Okay, up we go, and he gets the up air. Wow, no air dodge from AC. Um, even a grenade might have traded in that situation, you know what I mean? Like blowing mm -hmm. up on the first hit. But still, I mean, AC was fairly confident that Eon wasn't going to pull the trigger, and his confidence was misplaced. Oh, two grenades instantly out there. That snake grenade comes out on frame one, so very, very good out for a heavy character. I mean, if they didn't have that, he's a frame four air dodge, so he'd be not the greatest uh, mm -hmm. character. I mean, he'll still be good, but that's a really big deal in life. I just love that we saw, like, those double grenades come out again from AC, and Ian was just like, nope, and just ran to the other side of the yeah. stage. He's like, I can wait a few seconds. I know the timer on those. I'm out of here. But catching with another up air, I think AC may want to commit to the air dodge a little more. Oh, yeah. I mean, Eon is making it very clear that he's not afraid to just go for it and make it rip. I, I, the, the thing about it too, just Fox's speed is so fast. Even just like reacting to a double jump up there is very, very difficult to do. Yeah, very true. I mean, when it's, especially when it's coming at you at the speed that Fox runs at or flies. <laughs> okay, but I like the defensive play that we see from Eon. Spacing correctly, he's taking his time running in. He did get hit into a dash attack into a grenade and now an up tilt. Very unfortunate for Eon, but AC gonna collect. Dude, AC just went totally offensive that last like stretch, that last mm -hmm. sequence. Uh, he had like a couple grenades set up, and then he was like, you know what? Boom, comes in with the dash attack, and just he's the one pressuring Eon now. And then even like the double up tilt on the shield too, that was so good. And that may be what be what uh, it gives Eon so much trouble. I mean, AC's got layers. Yeah, he's built like an onion. Yeah, and I, the thing is. Uh, Snake's dash attack. Wow, is that it? Wow, it's going to be off the top here. And he even didn't hit the grenade there. The way he hit AC is he made sure he hit more on the right side of the body. Because when Snake pulls the grenade, he pulls it like by his hip and behind it. So really good spacing from Eon. If he didn't space it correctly, it, the first hit would have you know detonated the grenade, reset the situation. Yeah, and I like the counter pick that's going between these two players. Uh, we've been on Pokemon State the entire time, but they've actually been changing the song. They've been rifling through the songs. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, well, so are we going to have game five, of course, on Pokemon Stadium? And, I mean, there, there's a lot of sets in SoCal that kind of go like that, right? Just all stadium. I mean, this is this is the new comfort pick. Everyone, <laughs> like... Everyone's cool with it, man. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium? Yeah, Pokemon. I love Pokemon. <laughs> they got some hype music. It's a really good stage, too. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I miss Smashville, though. 
Oh, moving platforms? <laughs> no, just, just Smash Ball in general. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, All right, we see the approach from Eon. Next, collects the grenade, immediately holding shield. Okay, there's a dash attack. Okay, yeah, Fox can't punish that. Drop oh. shield. Oh, he tried to drag him down. No, just keeps the pressure. Train trap. Again, look at the grenades dropping. So, again, he's hitting him in the exact right spot in front of him. Oh, okay, gets the back air, offstage situation. Eon hasn't taken any damage. Look at how much he's done, and he gets the stock on top of that. That's true. We see a lot of control coming from Eon. Okay, cooking the grenade. Wait, yep. This is getting some grenade pressure here, coming in. Yep, and now we're going to control center stage. He also has a C4 set up on the platform as well. Okay, I mean, so Eon's chilling, dude. Yeah, he has reflectors. Like you gotta, you eventually have to come into mid range here. Yeah, he, it oh, just wait. makes the the spacing from AC just that much more uh, difficult because if Eon just stays in in shine, the most of the grenade pressure won't actually affect him. Yeah, he has to actually hit him with the explosion. But I feel like sometimes even like maybe Eon should just be going in, even though. I just feel like sometimes you're gonna mess up eventually, right? And then you get hit by one grenade. He took like a lot of damage, you know, yeah. he seven three, and then he, he could have, it, it would have been really bad. So I, I feel like in this situation, you might just want to go in, because you have the advantage when you go in. It's you're, true, you're, but you're, you're, you're I think what he's waiting for is he's waiting for AC to misspace something and make a mistake, and now it's going to allow him to really go in. And we see AC racking up at 900%. We're all about disrupting AC's flow. And if, if Eon is the one that's pulling back, playing patient, waiting for AC to make a mistake, then it's going to allow him to really capitalize. Oh, the second hit on the getup attack. AC had the parry, but he had to get both hits because of the way he was positioned. Really good downer. It is going to counter the parry timing for Nair. Mm -hmm. This is uh, what Fox will go for there. Okay, dropping the C4 on the platform. There's that wall again. Reflect that grenade right back. And staying on chill just a little bit too long. Ooh, guessed wrong. We need the tech chase there to get the stock. Now, AC back to square one here, trying to catch the Fox. <laughs> That's a slippery Fox. <laughs> Uh, uh, he, he was face forward, so the best thing he could have done was Nair there, but ends up picking up the back air by the roll. Still really good stuff from Eon. That's right. Now AC has a hill to climb 111% on to Eon. Definitely kill percent, but still three stocks to go. Okay, the grenades are dropping. He has to, okay, and there's an, another example of Snake's grenade being there. It forced him to pick up the grenades. Mm -hmm. So after the, the tilt, he picked up the grenade, like his next move is going to be throw items. So essentially just stops the combo there. Okay. Yep, more shines, getting some laser action, and the damage just continues to rise up. Directional air dodge getting caught by down smash Dude. again. What a, uh, oh, Jesus 